Okay, in order to this question, we need to be familiar with the formula y equals mx plus c. Now, um, the m in this is the gradient, and the c, or the plus c, is the y-intercept. Now, the first thing we need to find out is the gradient, so we're going to work out m first. Now, to do the gradient, the formula is change in y over change in x. So if you have a look, um, we start off at 5 uh, for the x and minus 10 for the y, and then we go to 13 for the x and minus 42 for the y. So to work out the change in y, we do the final y, which is minus 42, and we take away the initial y, which is minus 10. We do the same with the x's, so 13 take away 5, and find out how much it's changed. Um, so those two minuses make a plus, so it's minus 42 plus 10, which is minus 32. Over, and then we're going to do 13 take away 5, which is 8. Okay, so minus 32 divided by 8 is going to be minus 4. So the gradient is minus 4. So we know that um, it's going to be y equals minus 4x plus something. So we need to work out what the y-intercept is. And the way of doing that is we just put in the two values here, we could have picked the other ones, into y equals mx plus c. So we're going to find out what c is by substituting in those values. So it's going to be minus 10 equals, and then we work out, we've worked out the gradient, which is minus 4, times the x, which is 5, plus c. Now c is the one we're trying to find, so we're going to leave that as a c. Okay, so minus 10 equals, minus 4 times 5 is minus 20, plus c. And we're going to add 20 to both sides. So that's going to be 10 equals c, or c equals 10. I mean, same thing. Okay, so we've worked out what c is. So we can actually write the uh, formula now, or the equation of the line now. So it's minus 4x plus 10, which is plus 10 because c is positive. If c was negative, it would be take away the value. 